trouble. And boy, I found her. She's in love with herself. Gray Wolf Studios. What's up, guys? It's me, Gray Wolf. I'm back here to do another video. And, uh,. The last video I did was a video on the FlySky uh, FS-TH9X controller and uh, how to mod it for LiPo use so you don't have to use double A's. Um, to expand on that mod, uh, one of the things that I like to do on, say, my FlySky GT3B is I like to put a uh, low voltage alarm on the uh, balance leads of the of that lipo uh, because the the built-in voltage alarm that's on the GT3B is too low. Like once you you know I don't think it goes off to like nine volts and. Ideally, I don't like to run my lipos down to three volts, 3.2 volts, 3.3 volts, somewhere in that range is okay. But I, you know, 3.0 is not detrimental, but it's uh, it's a little lower than I like to to run it, or you know, a little closer than I like to cut it, however you want to say it. So, yeah. So anyway, I I, I run with a low voltage alarm in my GT3B. So basically. I wanted to do the same thing naturally with this controller, but the problem was, if you look in the in the back here, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see it a little better. If you look in the back here, you really have to kind of stuff this lipo in here, or at least all the wires. There's a lot of extra wires coming off, and the pack pretty much is an exact fit in the controller except for this little pocket right here at the end well unfortunately my low even the smallest low voltage alarm that I had was not small enough to fit in this little crevice here so basically what I did was I took a three cell balance uh, adapter or extension cable rather it's an extension cable for your for your balance plug um, you know you plug it into the balance port on a lipo and then it's like I don't know it's a it's a six inch extension basically so you don't have to have uh, the lipo like you know three inches away from the charger you can actually set it down nice and flat and it's kinda nice and they're not very expensive um, so anyway what I did in order to make this mod possible was I actually installed the alarm inside of the controller and then um, and then basically hooked up one of those 3S extension cables as you can see at the end of its poking out right here I hooked up one of those extension cables and then I mounted the alarm inside the TX and I'll show you guys exactly how I did that so if you haven't watched the last video on how to mod it for lipo um, then this this plug right here that it can that attaches the back to the front you have to unplug this you know I went over that on my last on my lipo conversion vid this plug is tight too. It doesn't like to come out very well, but so be careful when you're taking it out. Hmm. Just seems to be particularly troublesome this time. There we go. All right, so we'll set the front over there because we don't need it. So basically, as you can see here, there was basically room down here at the bottom of the. See, it's at the bottom of the case. I had room, and I just used a little bit of Velcro. There's actually a dip 
and I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually kind of a dip where right here. So there's actually not a lot of contact uh, surface area for the uh, for the low voltage alarm, but it's fine because basically I just put the Velcro in there. I mean, it's not going to get thrashed around like an RC would. I just put it in there to hold the uh, alarm in place so it, I didn't hear it rattling around inside of the, the case. And essentially, so what I did was I, I took the, the four screws out of this back plate, lifted the back plate up, ran the cable. As you can see, I ran the cable underneath the plate down toward the bottom because there's a little bit of space there. And then, uh, and then basically ran it out one of the holes on the side here just like I did for the LiPo connector. And essentially what that enables me to do then is, you know, I have this balance adapter so I can hook this up first. Yeah, that's loud. I can hook the balance port up first and then just kind of push it. I can push it back into the, into the case. Um, just about all the way back to the plug and then that and that enables you to go ahead and at that point and slide your lipo in and and then you can go ahead and you know hook up the wires here and then uh, what I do is I just I take this extra wire right here and just tuck it down into this space here on the on the end and then I just lay the Futaba connector flat on top of the battery and then that will allow you enough room to put it in there and as you can see by the LEDs it's armed and working and then whatever it gets down to 3.3 volts the alarm will go off and I know it's time to change light bulbs so yeah it's kind of a you know pretty simple little thing but uh, you know very handy in the field so I'm gonna put this back together and that's pretty much it for this video it's, it's a, this one's short and sweet and uh, just remember if you uh, if you like my videos please subscribe uh, feel free to share them with anybody that can use them. Uh, there will be, eventually, once I've had a chance to use this for a while, uh, there will eventually be a, a review video on this particular uh, TX. Uh, I do get into a little bit of uh, things. There are a couple of things that uh, I'm not crazy about on this TX um, and I cover those in the lipo conversion uh, video if you're if you're interested to hear basically it, there was a little blurb in there about kind of like my initial impressions of the of the transmitter and um, if you're if you're interested in buying one of these you might want to watch that just and just you know at least watch that little blurb just to kind of get an idea of a couple of um, couple of basically what I consider to be flaws or disappointments in it um, overall it's a it, it's it appears to be a, a pretty decent transmitter but you know we'll see I haven't used it enough to make any kind of real judgments yet so anyway um, like I was saying you know share my stuff subscribe if you like it um, you can also check me out on Facebook um, if you like my Facebook page, there's lots of pictures on my Facebook page. Um, there's quite a bit of discussion. Um, you know, so visit that. I'll give you the address uh, here in just a second. Um, so yeah, you can either get a hold of me. Well, you, you can either get a hold of me um, at my Facebook page, which is www.facebook.com forward slash gray wolf studios 74 or uh, if you prefer email you can you can get a hold of me via email at gray wolf studios 74 at gmail.com
and uh, I'm out. Peace. One final tip that I just that just dawned on me. Uh, there's these four screws that hold this back plate on. These are very easy to strip out. Please be careful when you're screwing these screws back in. I actually stripped this one right here, and I wasn't even hardly twisting it. So, so be very careful when you're dealing with these screws here. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'm out. Peace.